Now, at the moment I'm in tying, so it's a traditional and old wet flies. Now, one of the flies I'm tying is called the downhill fly. Now, it's from this book here, it's called The Fly Fisher's Entomology. Now, this copy date uh, was published in 1844, which is the third edition. Now, there's a lot of good patterns within this book, and the, the downhill was one that I've tied before. I've tied it with basically the original, sort of, say, the body there is orange floss silk, and then tied coloured, ash coloured thread. Uh, but basically, there's, this one's a yellow bodied version. It's not in the book, but it's one I've tied. Uh, and it worked extremely well. I do have the orange bodied version here so you can see it. It's not much difference really other than the orange. Now what I'll do is I'll, I'll zoom in so you can see a wee bit better. Uh, it's always good to variants of the fly. Um, the other one I've tied before is just basically a brown body but the, the yellow worked better uh, as good as the orange so it's worth having both. It's really simple to tie main size was a 14. Now this is the fully well hook, it's the all purpose medium. Now well, some people like to catch and release so you can debarb it if you wish and the easiest way is to debarb it first. Just crush the barb, close the barb using the jaws, quite simple. And then we can put it into the vise. And that's a red tie of the fly. Now the thread, I'm using the traditional thread, you could use your normal thread. This is a like a light done. Now ash is all different colours, you can have whatever colour you like, but this is a, the grey I used. You can use a darker colour if you want. Now just wax the thread. You start the eye of the hook, start to work our way down. Just before the point and remove the waist. And we form a small tag with the silk at the back, like that. Now, for the body, I'm just using Marabou Floss, a traditional silk. You could use your normal uh, silk, it's up to yourself. Now I'm going to show you. You have to, it's too heavy for this size of fly, so you, this, the Marabou silk splits up. First it will split into two, quite easy, by just twisting it apart. Just twist it, and you'll see the two strands. And then you simply remove it. There's one, so you double up and then you, again, because it's, it's still too heavy, you can twist it and it'll, it should split again. You could encourage this using your your needle. Now, I'm trying to show you with, with on the video. But you, it does come apart, you'll see there. Now, I'm, I'll need at least a bit, there's about four strands here. I want, you can see two. And then what we can do is catch this on, pull into the body, take your silk up, you want it touching so there's no lumps or spaces. Then we do the body with the silk. Take your time. Now the thorax, there's a wee bit of grey at the thorax. So basically it's the, th the silk itself, so I go down about three turns, just to hold the, the floss, remove the waist, for your next fly anyway. I come back down, and then back up, and that there gives you a, like a taper, as you can see. I have to wax my thread, take away the excess. Now the wing of the fly, these are, the, these are secondary feathers uh, from a, a woodcock. Now you need a right and a left, so you do, so I've got a right and a left here. The easiest way, don't be fussy, don't be too fussy with it. Just bring out the width of the wing you want for the size of the fly. In this case it's round about 6mm or so, so tear it off, get the other side. Do the same again. Now what I do then, sit them on my finger. The points sitting flat, so the points line up. Just make sure they're going to sit. Just check the length underneath you. You're seeing the underside of the fly, and there, fibers are flat. The length of the wing is up to yourself, it can be short as long as you want. 
Now, what I'm going to then do is fold these and have the feathers, you want them right on the top, pinch and loop a couple of times. Take your fingers away, see how they look. Now, I'm happy with that, so then what we do is we trim away the, the waist. Make sure you wax your thread. Tie it down. Now, the hackle I'm using, this is a, a white and hen cape. A hen, sorry, neck. Uh, and this is a furnace. You see there. Now, the length of these hackles are amazing for the nowadays the genetic hackles. Now, I've tied, what, four? Four flies. And I've still got at least two and a half inches of feather left. So I could probably tie another four easily. And as I say, that's a gen that's what the genetics are like nowadays. Then the colour markings on it is really good. The length of the hackle you can it's good to have some as short as much as a long hackle. Uh, it's entirely up to yourself. This is slightly longer than that's what I like sometimes, it's quite a bit of movement. So you can tie it to suit yourself. Now tie remove some of the fibre. Again, make sure your wax on your thread. A couple of tons to hold. The reason you only you need a couple of tons with silk is because it's like twice the thickness of the standard threads we buy nowadays. And there's more grip. It's equivalent probably to say four tons of the modern silks. Now what I'm gonna do here is just the two tons, put it into the hackle pliers. Just allow it to come round. You can fold the feather fibers back. And then you go straight turns. There's one. One and a half, that's fine. Catch in with a couple of turns. Remove your hackle pliers. Now I'm going to fold this back. So fold it back. Come up with a couple of turns. Now you, you're looking around about three turns, if I finish at least, the way back down. And this tidies the head up. Then we can tighten the silk up. And trim away so the silk, the thread, and then the hackle. Just then pull it back. Just see how the fibres are sitting. Sometimes they twist. Now you've only got a turn and a half there, so you're not going to have a lot of fibre. But that's what you want in these smaller flies. You can you can beef them up if you want. There's no problem. Fishing the locks especially, I would do that. And then what you do. Let's go in. You put a varnish onto the head. Just going to clean out the eye. You can use a piece of wire or whatever you like. Or do your dubbing needle. I'll just get some wire here. I'm just going to clean it out. There we go. And that's the the downhill fly in the yellow. As I say, you can tie it with the orange body. Again, it works extremely well. Quite a simple weed dressing. Uh, easy to do your box up. That style of fly works extremely well. The grey, yellow, the grey, orange, the brown, all work extremely well for any or many species of flies. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. And that's the the downhill fly.